Hey guys, that up here, and today we are buying some solar panels. About a monthish ago, I was listening to the Survival Podcast with Jack Spearco. This was episode 1142, and in it, he was talking about some solar panels that Stephen Harris turned him on to, talking about how the cost of solar panels are lowering, and there were some solar panels there for 79 cents per watt. So, I clicked on the link, and here they are. 2DM 145 watt polycrystalline solar panels. Comes out to 290 watts, only 79 cents per watt. But down here you see the sale price is 268. Now, using some basic math and a calculator, we find that 290 watts times 0.79 comes out to 229.10. So I called the manufacturer up, well, the seller, and asked him why the difference in price. He told me that the poly panels no longer exist. Um, he doesn't have them in stock anymore. It, he did a lot of advertising for this link and that's the only reason why he keeps it up. I don't know why he doesn't just change what's in the link, but there it is. So I asked him, well, you got a little false advertising going on. And eventually he said, yeah, but I spent a lot of money on the ad, so it's going to stay. Whatever. He did say, though, that this price here is for these monocrystalline panels, the 158 watts each, which comes out to basic math, 158 times to 316 watts and 85 cents per watt, still well under the dollar per watt uh, limit that I tried to set for myself. We have for 268 and I think like 60 cents. Now, if you don't know the difference between poly and mono crystalline panels, Google it, but mono is better. So, I'm going to take you on the voyage with me as I buy a set of these panels. Here we have the cart where we can see the price, 268 for the two panels. And shipping, uh, he told me that he has a flat rate shipping, $96. It's $96.48. These are coming from California, and he's told me that if I was willing to drive down to California and pick them up, that I could waive the shipping, but I'm not willing to do that from Washington State. It cost me more than 96 bucks for a round trip down there anyway. So we have a total of $364.48. Still pretty close to my dollar per watt. Uh, range including the shipping so we're going to check out now and I might have to skip the next screen because it's gonna have some private info in there well there you have it I have my confirmation email for my solar panels they're going to be in route in a few days and now all I need is a charge controller now here's a nice surprise it's only been three days since I ordered these panels and they have already arrived so let's open up the box and check them out I was kind of worried about uh, some of the dents and dings on the box so while I'm opening it up I was waiting for these things to be cracked but I looked inside and there's another box holding on to the panels on the inside and this outer box was foamed all the way around it so it looks like it's gonna be okay so there's my new precious that is one 158 watt solar panel i don't see any cracks or dings or scrapes at all looks like it made the trip pretty okay let's check out the back side so here's the back of it now uh, you see the box there you see the cables coming out uh, one's positive one's negative they have the um, male and female connectors on there so it looks like i'm gonna have to buy a couple more connectors and uh, wire that into the charge controller. Let's look at the specs. Here we see maximum power, 158 watts. Maximum voltage is going to be 18.9 volts. Maximum power current, uh, let's see here, is 8.47 amps. So I would have to have at least for the both of these, what, at probably 20 amps? charge controller at least well 
let's go find a charge controller. Well, I just got home from a trip to a guy's house that I saw on Craigslist. He was selling one of these Harbor Freight 30 amp solar chargers uh, for $30. Uh, I tried to come back and see the post when I got home and it had already been taken down, so must have been his last one. Uh, but this is for a 12 volt system and it'll hold handle up to 30 amps, so plenty for what I need for my very first charge controller. The charge controller that I got uh, charged fine, the battery was fine, it would connect to the solar panels fine, but it would not connect to a load. Something about the charge controller was wrong. I called the guy back on Craigslist and took it out to him. We found that the thing just wasn't working right, so he upgraded me with no extra charge to this one, so thank you very much, Adrian. And if anybody is looking on Craigslist in Kitsap County in Washington, uh, and you get a hold of Adrian, good guy. If I had my rathers, I would be getting this Morningstar TriStar 60 amp MPPT charge controller, but at $569, that's not in my price range right now. So I will settle with my 30 amp Harbor Freight cheap charge controller and get the system kind of up and running. Another thing I'm going to be getting are these uh, Y connectors. These are the uh, MC4 connectors that the solar panels have on them. And since I have two panels and I want them onto one wire, I need to have these little Y connectors to connect them all up into the one system. Then I will use uh, these MC4 connectors with some wire to connect to the charge controller. So I'm going to pick both of those up as well. My Y connectors came in the mail today. And so I have the, I guess, two males and two females that will come off of each of the solar panels, something like that. We'll connect into these and we'll come down to here, which I will connect these into these male and female uh, connectors here and have wires coming out of that into my charge controller. We are at Lowe's getting uh, 8 gauge wire at 68 cents a foot and we're getting 25 feet of black and 25 feet of red and we will add those to our connectors. So we're just waiting for the guy to come cut it now. Just when I thought I was all ready to put this thing together, I realized I didn't have any wire to go from the charge controller to the batteries. And after I got home with the wire, I realized I didn't have any connectors on the ends of those wires to go to the batteries. So I had to go back out again. But now we have all the supplies we need and I'll show you a list of everything that we purchased. After everything I bought for the battery backup system and then the solar power system, here is what I have spent. I have the two uh, Group 27 DC deep cycle uh, marine batteries that I bought off of a guy on eBay who was local. He wanted $10 each for them because they were used a little bit. I have the two uh, four gauge battery cables that connect uh, the positive and the positive and the negative to negative on the batteries. Those were $13 each at uh, probably AutoZone. Here for $50, I have my 1500 watt continuous, 1800 watt for 20 minutes, and 3000 watt peak power inverter. Uh, it's not pure sine wave or anything like that, it's just regular power inverter. I got that from the same guy I got the batteries from. He uh, wanted $50 for that, so I got that. Then we have the uh, Schumacher SE1555A automatic elite uh, battery charger. I think I picked this up at Walmart for a hundred bucks. It has a 150 amp engine start, but it has like a 55 amp dump load for your batteries, just a quick boost of power. Also a 20 amp, which is the one I usually use at first, and then a 2 amp, which is just kind of a, 
uh, float charge and it's a smart charger so I really can't mess it up then I have my two uh, DM solar 158 watt mono crystalline solar panels with shipping for the pair of them was about $365 the solar charger that I got off of Craigslist uh, what in this one this is the second one that I got from him was a 12 or 24 volt 30 amp charge controller I also had uh, the Y connectors I got a pair of those for like 11 bucks off of uh, Amazon uh, five pair of the MC4 connectors so I can connect my wires and and make them uh, solar panel ready and that was about 12 bucks then I went to Lowe's and got some 8 gauge wire I got uh, let's see 25 and 7 I got probably 32 feet of each uh, black and red that was about $45 then I have uh, the battery connectors that I got at uh, an auto parts store and those are about $4 so my total for my complete setup was $663 and that's for about 300 watts of power so just over two dollars a watt so I think this is a pretty good little setup for my very first solar power system I have enough power to run the office my laptop charge everything in the house run the uh, LED Christmas lights throughout the house so if there's ever an emergency we'll be okay in fact we're getting ready to take all of this camping with us to see how well it works off the grid well, that's all I have for this video. As always, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. And if you want some more information about this video or other things I'm up to, check us out on the website. And we'll see you guys on the next video. So we are at Home Depot. Close.